So when I started the company, I had no CNC experience. This was the first CNC I used. I started by working with some of the MHUB staff to, to learn the ropes, as well as uh, watching some tutorials online, and then uh, just you know trial and error and learning as I went. My name is David Kinnick. Uh, I'm the owner and founder of Skate Castle. We produce uh, personal electric vehicle parts and accessories. We machine them here in Chicago as well as some local partners. I grew up skateboarding actually. It was something I was always passionate about. Kept doing it throughout college. Yeah. And here, we're, here we are now. Obviously you're familiar with the traditional skateboard. Yeah. People have started motorizing them. Uh, electric motors, batteries. Some are four-wheel drive, some are two-wheel drive. Uh, some you know are lightweight and some go up to over 60 miles an hour. So these are some of the accessories that we make at Skate Castle. Uh, this is our locking system. I lock your board up to any bike rack or pole. Uh, you can see here the four holes uh, go around the truck mounting bolts to keep them protected. This then goes around the top of the truck and engages the kingpin. And then when you put the U-shackle in place, uh, you're unable to remove uh, the truck from the board or the, the board from the lock. These are bash guards, so they protect the front and the back of your board from damage. We actually powder coat them here in-house. These are some skid plates that help protect your belts as well as your motors from damage as you're riding around. We CNC them from 6061 aluminum, all billet, and uh, we also make them in-house. The pulleys that we offer are a two-piece system, so we machine the pulley and the, uh, the hub itself on actual a Tormach lathe. Then we uh, have a second part, a gear component, that basically allows you to adjust different gear ratios, uh, T-sizes, as well as adapts to different wheel types. The gearing uh, allows you to get extra performance. It also allows you to change your wheel size and keep the same performance. So you might have uh, like loss of braking if you put on really big wheels and you don't adjust the gearing properly, or you might have a very uh, low top speed if you were to you know, not, not get the right gearing ratio with your wheels. We had worked with a, a company that helped us initially make a prototype, but it wasn't what we needed it to be. And, uh, you know, quickly I realized, as is often the case, we're probably going to have to build more than two or three of these. We might be building, you know, dozens of prototypes to, to get really the right um, product and, and the right solution that we were looking for. So we have a Tormach in our garage. We use it for a lot of product development and prototypes. We now like lean more on the MXs for the actual like production and manufacturing. I like the Tormox a lot. Uh, they've been really easy to, to use and learn as I stepped into the, the world of CNC and manufacturing our, our, own, our own products in-house. Uh, they work very well with Fusion 360 and uh, as well as being very easy to like repair or fix when you have uh, problems uh, or take care of things in house. The PathPilot interface is uh, pretty intuitive and, and relatively easy to use. I used it from PCNC that we have here uh, to the 1100M to the 1100MX as well as on our lays. So it's great to have the same program on uh, all the pieces of equipment. So right now on the uh, MX we're machining our skid plates for the boosted boards. They're machined out of 6061 billet aluminum. They come as a set like this. We have a pallet that we've uh, machined here uh, and you can see we're making currently four sets at a time. Once we're done we just swap those out, leave it set up and we put two more bars in and keep on chugging. So uh, MHUB is uh, an innovation center. We first started here about six years ago. We use it for manufacturing, prototyping, and product development. I found out that MHUB had existed and it allowed me to help uh, develop the product and prototype it myself instead of having to go out and um, spend that, uh, the capital on someone else building it. Uh, Emma has been critical to our business and uh, being able to start it here in Chicago. Um, it allowed us access to equipment that in the beginning we would have otherwise been unable to afford, as well as uh, talent and resources that have been critical to us getting, uh, becoming successful. As we've been at MHUB uh, with Skatecast, so we've had the opportunity to also work with other startups and help them develop their products and prototypes. Uh, one of the companies that we've worked with here was Stroma. They make a worker safety system. Every component here, and there's three different individual parts here, was actually manufactured on a Tormach machine. 
and they were able to bring them to a trade show where they actually won an IF Design Award and Red Dot Design Award for um, the prototype and the, and the build. So we were happy to be a part of that. Another one of the companies that we've had the opportunity to work with here uh, through the M-Hub partnership is Motion. Uh, they're a mechanical movement control company that uses a special fluid nanotechnology to control movement. Uh, they started with doors as well as hinges. Um, so what we've done here is we've helped them uh, develop a product that uh, normally uh, was a spring closer and uh, an existing product that we've adapted and added their technology to. Uh, we machined some custom components right here out of stainless steel as well as nickel aluminum bronze um, and uh, some other materials to help make this hinge that now controls motion. Uh, this complete part here is all an additional add-on that we've manufactured and made. Um, you can see the plates here to mount it, as well as some of the components inside, uh, like our nickel aluminum bronze slider there, uh, that we actually made in-house on the Tormach machines here. I've been lucky enough to work with a few people here and help them, as well as uh, me and a couple other members here are, you know, some of the more ad advanced users uh, will help out folks sometimes when they're first, you know, dipping their toe in the water and trying to learn the machine. You know, if I were talking to someone who had never used a CNC machine, I'd say, you know, if you're, if you're willing to learn and uh, spend the time, uh, you know, any, anyone can learn and, and figure out how to use it.